In this video, we'll learn about the if-else condition in Tableau. How if-else condition is used in Tableau in the cross tabs, in the data graph, in the line chart, anywhere. So those if-else condition falls into a category named as logical functions. So I'm working into a workbook named as logical functions. The database name is Global Superstore 2017. You can download this database or you can see the workbook below this video itself. So I'll show you two things in this video itself. One is the uh, profit on the graph and profit on the cross tab. How do I highlight the profit into the cross tab and into the bar chart itself? So first of all, I'll bring, bring this subcategory into rows, bring this profit into this columns because I want subcategory wise profit itself. So put into this label itself. So I'll just click on this T button and I'll be getting here as profit. So these are the profits which are given. These are some low profits which are written here in the minus. I'll sort this profit into the descending order and you can see the highest profit is this much and the lowest profit is into minus 64083. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll highlight into low profit and high profit these two things. Whatever value comes above this 75000 will be as high profit. Whatever value comes below this 75000 will be considered as low profit. I'll show you with the help of this if else condition how do I create it. First of all I have to create a field calculated field and then I'll be just coloring this area. So this is nothing but profit on the graph itself. So high profit, low profit, two categories I have to create it. So first of all, I'll create a field, create calculated field. I'll name it as sales profit status. Here I'll type as if, and if you see there's a if, these are the different conditions which are here. So once you select this if, press tab key, and you can just type as sum of, press tab key. I have the profit, use your down arrow key and you can just press tab. If my profit is, if I say here as greater than 75000, then, then it should be as high profit, else press tab. So this condition is if condition then and what should be the if condition answer here, else and I'll press tab here as and I'll put as low profit end tab key so you don't have to worry you don't have to remember everything how the syntax is done here so when you start typing here if on the right hand side you'll be getting a syntax explanation and along with explanation at the if you scroll down you'll be getting some example the same example which i'm showing here here you can find out this thing so only thing is parameter the value will change but the syntax everything would be the same itself so that is the if condition itself so if the profit is greater than 75000, so you, sh you should get this high profit, otherwise low profit. Click on apply, click on OK. So here if you see that's a profit status and here right now, this is what I've shown you earlier. Pick up this profit status and drop into this colors part. Now if you observe, these are colored into two categories. One is the yellow and second one is blue. On the right hand side, you'll understand why it is yellow and blue. Yellow stands for low profit and this one blue stands for the high profit any value which is about 75000 will be as high profit any value which is less will be as low profit so this way you can use if else condition to put a you know highlighting your graph chart itself right let's see one more example it will be clear then if i want to show you profit on a cross tab like high profit and low profit again i'll pull up this uh, this sub category into rows i'll pick up this sales into this text itself i don't want anywhere else sorted ascending descending so I'll not, I don't want the sales, I want the profit. So pick up the profit into this text itself. So this is in the descending order. Now, if I want to find out high profit, low profit. So already I've created here as profit status, pick up and drop into this rows itself. So here, if you observe what it is given here, it says high profit. And after some time, it says as low profit because we have given the condition itself at this place. And it makes our job very easy to understand which are high profit, which are low profit. If you don't like this high profit, low profit, these are different, you know, the column which is created, you can still use it into the colors part. So pick up this aggregate profit sales and put into the colors part and you see whatever is in the high profit will be in the blue color, whatever is in the low profit will be given this, uh, you know, yellow color itself. So indirectly you can use this in the form of a conditional formatting also. So I hope you have understood how to work on the profit on graph and profit on the cross tab using this if else condition that is nothing but a logical function itself. That's all for this video.